St. Faustina's Way of the Cross at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy. Opening Prayer Merciful Lord, my Master, I want to follow you faithfully. I want to imitate you in my life in an ever more perfect way. That is why I ask that by meditating on your passion, you would grant me the grace of a deeper understanding of the mysteries of the spiritual life. Mary, Mother of Mercy, always faithful to Christ, lead me in the footsteps of the sorrowful passion of your Son, and ask for me the necessary graces for a fruitful making of this way of the cross. First Station Jesus is condemned by Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. Do not be surprised that you are sometimes unjustly accused. I myself first drank this cup of undeserved suffering for love of you. When I was before Herod, I obtained a grace for you, namely, that you would be able to rise above human scorn and follow faithfully in my footsteps. We are sensitive to words and quickly want to answer back, without taking any regard as to whether it is God's will that we should speak. No adversities will harm it if it perseveres in silence. The silent soul is capable of attaining the closest union with God. Merciful Jesus, help me to know how to accept every human judgment and do not allow me ever to render a condemnatory judgment on you in my neighbors. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Second station, Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. And the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. So Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple cloak. And Pilate said to them, Behold the man. When the chief priests and the guards saw him, they cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. Do not be afraid of sufferings. I am with you. The more you will come to love suffering, the purer your love for me will be. Jesus, I thank you for the little daily crosses, for opposition to my endeavors, for the hardships of communal life, for the misinterpretation of my intentions, for the humiliation at the hands of others, for the harsh way in which we are treated, for false suspicions, for poor health and loss of strength, for self-denial, for dying to myself, for lack of recognition in everything, for the upsetting of all my plans. Merciful Jesus, teach me to value life's toil, sicknesses, and every suffering, and with love to carry my daily crosses. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Involuntary offenses of souls do not hinder my love for them or prevent me from uniting myself with them. But voluntary offenses, even the smallest, obstruct my graces and I cannot lavish my gifts on such souls. My Jesus, despite your graces, I see and feel all my misery. Oh, my Jesus, how prone I am to evil, and this forces me to be constantly vigilant. But I do not lose heart. I trust God's grace, which abounds in the worst misery. 
Merciful Lord, preserve me from every, even the tiniest, but voluntary and conscious infidelity. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother Mary. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed, and you yourself a sword will pierce. Although all the works that come into being by my will are exposed to great sufferings, consider whether any of them has been subject to greater difficulties than that work which is directly mine, the work of redemption. You should not worry too much about adversities. I saw the Blessed Virgin, unspeakably beautiful. She held me close to herself and said to me, I am mother to you all. Thanks to the unfathomable mercy of God. Most pleasing to me is that soul which faithfully carries out the will of God. Be courageous. Do not fear apparent obstacles, but fix your gaze upon the passion of my Son, and in this way you will be victorious. Mary, Mother of Mercy, be near me always, especially in suffering as you were on your Son's way of the cross. You who suffered wounds for us. Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, and after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. Write that by day and by night my gaze is fixed upon him, and I permit these adversities in order to increase his merit. I do not reward for good results, but for the patience and hardship undergone for my sake. Jesus, you do not give a reward for the successful performance of a work, but for the goodwill and the labor undertaken. Therefore, I am completely at peace even if all my undertakings and efforts should be thwarted or should come to naught. If I do all that is in my power, the rest is not my business. Jesus, my Lord, let my every thought, word, and deed be undertaken exclusively out of love for you. Keep on cleansing my intentions. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. He grew up like a sapling before him, like a shoot from the parched earth. There was in him no stately bearing to make us look at him, no appearance that would attract us to him. He was spurned and avoided by men, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity, one of those from whom men hide their faces spurned, and we held him in no esteem. Know that whatever good you do to any soul, I accept it as if you had done it to me. I am learning how to be good from Jesus, from him who is goodness itself, so that I may be called a child of the Heavenly Father. Great love can change small things into great ones, and it is only love which lends value to our actions. Lord Jesus, my Master, grant that my eyes, my hands, my lips, and my heart may always be merciful. Transform me into mercy. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Seventh Station Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Yet it was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured, while we thought of him as stricken, as one smitten by God 
and afflicted. The cause of your falls is that you rely too much upon yourself and too little on me. But let this not sadden you so much. You are dealing with the God of mercy. Know that of yourself you can do nothing. Without special help from me, you are not even capable of accepting my graces. Jesus, do not leave me alone in suffering. You know, Lord, how weak I am. I am an abyss of wretchedness. I am nothingness itself. So what will be so strange if you leave me alone and I fall? So you, Jesus, must stand by me constantly, like a mother by a helpless child, and even more so. May your grace assist me, Lord, that I may not keep falling continuously into the same faults. And when I fall, help me to rise and glorify your mercy. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. How pleasing to me is living faith. Tell all that I demand that they live in the spirit of faith. I fervently beg the Lord to strengthen my faith so that in my drab everyday life I will not be guided by human dispositions, but by those of the spirit. Oh, how everything drags me in towards the earth. But lively faith maintains the soul in the higher regions and assigns self-love to its proper place, that is to say, the lowest one. Merciful Lord, I thank you for holy baptism and the grace of faith. Continuously I call, Lord, I believe, increase my faith. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Though he was harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter, or a sheep before the shearers, he was silent and opened not his mouth. Oppressed and condemned, though he had done no wrong, nor spoken any falsehood. But the Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. My child, know that the greatest obstacles to holiness are discouragement and an exaggerated anxiety. These will deprive you of the ability to practice virtue. Do not lose heart in coming for pardon for I am always ready to forgive you. As often as you beg for it, you glorify my mercy. My Jesus, despite your graces, I see and feel all my misery. I begin my day with battle and end it with battle. As soon as I conquer one obstacle, ten more appear to take its place. But I am not worried, because I know that this is the time of struggle, not peace. Merciful Lord, I give over to you that which is my exclusive property, that is, my sin and my human weakness. I beg you, may my misery drown in your unfathomable mercy. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garment. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four shares, a share for each soldier. They also took his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top down. So they said to one another, Let's not tear it, but cast lots for it, to see whose it will be in order that the passage of scripture might be fulfilled. Jesus was suddenly standing before me, stripped of his clothes. 
his body completely covered with wounds, his eyes flooded with tears and blood, his face disfigured and covered with spittle. The bride must resemble her betrothed. I understood these words to their very depth. There is no room for doubt here. My likeness to Jesus must be through suffering and humility. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto your heart. You who suffered wounds for us. Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Save yourself, if you are the Son of God and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. My pupil, have great love for those who cause you suffering. Do good to those who hate you. Oh, my Jesus, you know what efforts are needed to live sincerely and unaffectedly with those from whom our nature flees, or with those who deliberately or not have made us suffer. Humanly speaking, this is impossible. At such times more than at others, I try to discover the Lord Jesus in such a person, and for the same Jesus, I do everything for such people. O oh, purest love, rule in all your plenitude in my heart and help me to do your holy will most faithfully. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Twelfth station, Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs, but one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. All this for the salvation of souls. Consider well, my daughter, what you are doing for their salvation. Then I saw the Lord Jesus nailed to the cross. When he had hung on it for a while, I saw a multitude of souls crucified like him. Then I saw a second multitude of souls, and a third. The second multitude were not nailed to their crosses, but were holding them firmly in their hands. The third were neither nailed to their crosses nor holding them firmly in their hands, but were dragging their crosses behind them and were discontent. Do you see these souls? Those who are like me in the pain and contempt they suffer will be like me also in glory, and those who resemble me less in pain and contempt will also bear less resemblance to me in glory. Jesus, my Savior, hide me in the depth of your heart, that, fortified by your grace, I may be able to resemble you in the love of the cross and have a share in your glory. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The centurion, who witnessed what had happened, glorified God and said, This man was innocent beyond doubt. When all the people who had gathered for this spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances stood at a distance, including the women who had followed him from Galilee and saw these events. Most dear to me is the soul that strongly believes in my goodness and has complete trust in me. I heap my confidence upon it and give it all it asks. I fly to your mercy, compassionate God, who alone are good. Although my misery is great and my offenses are many, I trust in your mercy because you are the God of mercy. And from time immemorial, it has never been heard of, nor do heaven or earth remember that a soul trusting in your mercy has been disappointed. Merciful Jesus, daily increase my trust in your mercy, 
that always and everywhere I may give witness to your boundless goodness and love. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. Fourteenth Station Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They took the body of Jesus and bound it with burial cloths along with the spices, according to the Jewish burial custom. Now in the place where he had been crucified there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had yet been buried. So they laid Jesus there because of the Jewish preparation day, for the tomb was close by. My child, you are not yet in your homeland, so go, fortified by my grace, and fight for my kingdom in human souls. Fight as a king's child would, and remember that the days of your exile will pass quickly, and with them the possibility of earning merit for heaven. I expect from you, my child, a great number of souls who will glorify my mercy for all eternity. Every soul you have entrusted to me, Jesus, I will try to aid with prayer and sacrifice, so that your grace can work in them. O oh, great lover of souls, my Jesus, I thank you for this immense confidence with which you have deigned to place souls in our care. Grant, merciful Lord, that not even one of those souls which you have entrusted to me be lost. You who suffered wounds for us, Christ Jesus, have mercy.